Welcome back to Signature Dish, y'all. I am your host, Siggy B. You guys know me. Today, we are going to make my beef ribs. They are saucy, they're tender, they fall off the bone, they're everything that you love about some backyard barbecue, but they're not as complicated. Super simple, y'all are gonna love it. Let's get cooking good looking. Okay guys, this is such a simple, easy recipe. I am no grill master, I have told you that before. So what I love about this recipe is I can do it all in the oven. Hella easy. I've got beef ribs here. We don't really eat pork too often in this family. If we do, it's usually just bacon. Bacon's its own food group. But I like my beef ribs. So these are just beef back ribs. I get them straight from the grocery store. You can get them from your butcher but I love them because there's so much meat on them and they're just amazing, they're awesome. You don't need, you don't need baby backs, okay? Let's get cooking, y'all. You guys know I love a marinade. With the beef, we wanna tenderize that meat as always, so we're gonna throw some liquids on here and some spices and we are going to let it sit and marinate and tenderize all in the fridge, just like our chicken. Y'all know how we do this. So we're starting with some liquid smoke here. Y'all know I like this when we're doing something that you will usually make on a grill outside, but we're doing it indoors. So I'm just shaking a little bit. This is give it that smoky flavor. And it's it's sensory. It gives it smell, yep, smells like smoke, smells like outside right now. It just gives you that sensory flavor. Um, Worcestershire. Did we decide if I say that right? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Throw a little bit on. You can do this in a casserole dish um, if you'd like to, and then cover that with plastic wrap and throw it in the fridge. I like to use my plastic bags for marinating. Y'all know the easy cleanup. So this is mirin. It's like a rice wine. It's kind of like sake. Um, what I like about this is that it's just another, y'all know, the depths of flavor. We're just throwing a little bit on here. But the sugar in it is going to also tenderize our meat. Lastly, for the liquids, I'm just gonna throw some vegetable oil on, and this is gonna serve as our little sticky coating so that our seasonings will stick to the meat. So we're about to get messy here. Let's just rub it in. We just gonna coat it, we gonna coat it all. Get all those liquids evenly over your meat. We want that oil evenly over the meat so that our seasonings stick nicely. Feel free to throw on some gloves for this, but y'all know, use your hands when you can use your hands. All right, I'm gonna wash my hands and then we're gonna do our seasoning. I'm gonna get started with some light brown sugar for our seasonings. I don't really think you can do barbecued ribs without some sugar, right? <laughs> I mean, I haven't had barbecue without some brown sugar on it. So let's do that. Y'all know, like I said, not a grill master. I don't grill. Um, but I did spend a lot of my life in Texas. And I've eaten a lot of barbecue in my day. So I feel like this is a pretty good, easy, simple recipe. But yes, there's nothing that compares to Texas barbecue. That's true. Um, I've got some smoked paprika here. Cooking is all about experimenting. And you can, vary, you can make variations of this. You can do this however you want to do this. This is just flavors that work for me. We've got onion powder. some dried mustard. Dried mustard, some sweet basil. This is like my current obsession. I've just discovered sweet basil and it's kind of changed my life. I put it on everything now. And this one as well. This is a Mediterranean blend from McCormick and I put this bitch on some steak the other day. Fire. So this is going on here. Just sprinkle as evenly as you can. We're going to rub all this in. Last but not least, some habanero sea salt. Feel free to use some regular sea salt or kosher salt, 
but you do want to salt these well. That's it, y'all. We're about to rub these down. We're gonna put them in a plastic bag to marinate and throw them in the fridge. Um, this marinade, you can also do it the night before, do it overnight. I'm gonna go for at least, you need at least three hours on this, but you can go up to 24. So, like I said, I spent some time in Texas. Um, my mom has lived there since I was about seven. Um, even though I grew up in California, we used to go visit her frequently. And y'all might know, y'all may not, I met my husband in Texas. He was a Dallas Cowboy, a rookie, and I was visiting my mom, in I was in college, but I was visiting my mom for Thanksgiving, and that's when I met my husband. But one of my fondest memories of us in Texas is definitely road tripping together. I feel like that's when you knew your relationship could stand the test of time if you could spend 10 hours in a car with somebody. <laughs> Marty and his brother, Rashad, they used to have a group, like a music group. Um, it's called the Moonshine Kids. Shout out Shad Money and Chris Job. And um, they actually used to get gigs like all up and down Texas. And back then we would, we would road trip to these gigs. We would be like literally in the south of Texas on the, the border and um, these small, small towns. And they would kill the stage. They would come with the energy. It would be like three people in the crowd sometimes. <laughs> sometimes everything they got paid was spent on gas. <laughs> literally got nothing out of it. But it was so much fun and it just like reminds me of our, our younger wild days when we could just go on a 10 hour road trip and didn't have, you know, a kid to worry about her going to school and all this stuff. But yeah, I don't think that I will ever road trip for 10 hours ever again in life, but we did it and we survived. <laughs> and we just have the great memories now. My husband has, he has done it all. When I, when I say Marty just, he's the idea man and when he gets an idea, you can't, there's no stopping him. Um, so he's had, he's made plenty of music. He's made a million songs. Um, I know most of them, <laughs> but it was, it's very cool to have gone through so many phases of his life and like what his, what he was passionate about at the time. And like how many football players can, former football. He's not really a football player. He just happened to play football. But how many former football players can say that they also went on tour? <laughs> All right, y'all. These are ready to go in the fridge. We are, mm, we are just rub it down, rub it down. Mm, get it in there. Do not be afraid to massage. Massage that meat. Massage it. That, <laughs> you're the sexual <laughs> innuendo. <laughs> <laughs> I walked right into that one, y'all. I walked into that one. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. I just threw it up there. All right, y'all. We're going in the plastic bags. This is going in the fridge. Like I said, your minimum, you could do three hours if you're trying to cook them the same day. I would suggest put them in at bedtime, do it overnight, just like our chicken. Right. And that's it. We'll be ready to bake them. Okay, y'all. I told y'all this is very simple. You probably didn't believe me. We're just gonna we're gonna foil foil your baking sheet. We're gonna throw our ribs onto the foil. We're gonna foil it over the top so that the steam can cook the beef ribs. And that's it. We're gonna put it in the oven for like three to four hours. I promise you, that's it. This batch I put in before bed. Um, so I'd say it's had about 11 hours to marinate. Ooh, it already smells good, guys. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, these are gonna be so good. I love this because it's damn near like a crock pot meal, you know, where you just like throw everything in there and walk away. So I love being able to pop this in early afternoon and have it just be ready for dinner. All right, let's try to stick one more on here. Depending how many people I'm feeding, I would make two and throw them both in the oven. We're gonna do a 250 low oven so these can slow cook. 
and trust me, your house is gonna smell divine. It sucks because you have to wait for four hours and literally within like 30 minutes, you're gonna be smelling the goodness, trust me. All right, let's foil over the top of this. You want enough so that you can make a little pouch. All right. Make sure everything is closed tightly so no, um, so no steam can escape. And also, um, as it cooks, the fat is going to come off. And so when you take them out the oven, all you gotta do is just take, open it a little pinch and pour it, drain it off, pour it in the sink, you know? Such easy cleanup, y'all. I'm all about the easy cleanup because I hate doing dishes. I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. I should hire somebody just to clean my kitchen because y'all know I cook a million times a day. Especially during quarantine. I'm sure you guys can relate of the cooking and cleaning. Cooking and cleaning, that's all we've been doing all day long. But, you know, we eating good over here. I can't complain. All right, that's it, we're ready to go. It's gonna go in the oven, like I said, 250, about four hours. When it comes out, we're going to slather that hoe in some barbecue sauce. We're gonna throw it back under the broiler so it can get all nice and gooey and sticky and saucy. And then we're just gonna eat, okay? So let's go to the oven. See y'all in a bit. Our ribs are out of the oven. It's been about four hours. And we're just gonna poke a little hole in here and we're gonna drain because there's plenty of fat that have dripped off of, ooh, hot, careful, it's very hot. All right, we got our little hole. We're gonna drain these into the sink really easily. Okay guys, we are ready to sauce these up. This is the best part. I prefer Sweet Baby Ray's. Look, it's just my favorite. I've tried a lot of barbecue sauces. You guys let me know what your favorite barbecue sauce is. I'm willing to try more. I also want to make my own eventually one day, but who has time for that sometimes, you know? There's no such thing as bad art, but we're just gonna paint these at will. Use as much or as little sauce as you'd like and just go for it. Got it? All right. Into the broiler we go. All right, y'all, we are done. We are done. It took all damn day, but we are done. And it's a masterpiece. It's a masterpiece. So, do y'all mind if I eat? I'm just gonna eat. I'm just gonna eat, okay. I'm just gonna get lost in the sauce here. Mm. Yep. That's it. Do not forget, like, subscribe, comment. Please make these. Your whole family will thank you, I promise. So good. I'll see y'all next time on Signature Dish. I need to go eat.